Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your June. The first message I'm getting for you is I feel like someone is congratulating you. You're getting really, really good news. Um, and I feel like it's like major life changing news coming through. And I'm, I'm sensing like a, um, I don't feel like communication, you know, through uh, fast channels. I'm feeling it's more like, um, snail mail like um getting like official documents getting official letters and things like that okay so some life-changing news coming through that is really going to be um it's going to like either direct you for the next few years as to your um, your life's direction so i feel like this is not news that you are casually waiting on i feel like it's something very very important and it is something that is really really good for you um, I do feel if you have been waiting on something as well, a lot of you, either you're keeping yourself busy with a lot of work, with a lot of projects, studying, um, schoolwork even. I feel like somebody's trying to coax you out of your um, isolation, okay? Somebody's trying to basically like, um, I, I wouldn't say seduce, but I feel like they're trying to coax you like, you know, come out, come out, you're, you're secluding yourself, you're sequestering yourself, and you need to go out and enjoy the sun, sun, sunshine. I feel like that's what they're saying. And I do feel that for a lot of you, there's an energy where you are bouncing back and forth uh, from one place to the next, and you're keeping yourself very busy. Um, there's also some mental energy about waiting on this news or going out and pursuing something based on the information that you received. So this can be a love relationship as well. If you are uh, waiting on a love interest, I feel there's some information coming through that will allow you to actually take the initiative to pursue the love interest, okay? Or somebody pursuing you as well. So let me see. What I'm going to do is use these three for the advice cards because I feel like they came out in three for that reason. And let me get one last card for your clusters. So just one more card. Um, let's see what's if there's any other messages coming through. Okay. So let's talk about this first and... Um, there's a lot of mental energies. Make sure you are getting enough sleep, okay? I do feel for a lot of you, um, there is a lot of... Um, <clears throat> what I'm sensing from the get-go is like uh, troubles in the work front in your environment, okay? This is a... The Nine of Swords indicate like mental anguish, a lot of worries, a lot of um, mental energy that is keeping you up at night. I feel for a lot of you, you are waiting some news you are waiting to hear back from some type of an institution you are waiting on some very very important news and it's causing a lot of anxieties a lot of you are also in a period of intense self-doubt and I feel like you're kind of stuck in limbo you don't really you can't really make a decision yet so then the worrying it's uh, causing you know sleepless nights um, I just want you to know the sword energy is not real okay it's mental anguish churning like self-doubt and things like that that creep up on us and they don't really have any bearing on reality what i'm also feeling as well with this seven of wands the seven of wands is basically a card about self-defense standing up for yourself sticking up for what is right and a lot of responsibilities basically popping up like they, they sprout up like weeds and you have to fight back, okay? And you have to be in a situation where you are on top of things. I feel a lot of you are like not getting enough sleep mainly because there's a lot of little things like work project, household issues, chores, and things like that just popping up from you at you from all angles and you are trying to keep on top of them. And um, it just seems to me like a very... A very useless battle so you know make sure you get enough sleep make sure you take care of yourself when it comes to not taking on other people's burdens okay I have a similar energy with Virgo so I feel like it might be an earth sign thing so you want to be mindful of this energy where you're taking care of everything else and no one else is doing their part, okay? So you're kind of like alone in this battle. I also feel that, you know, once again, I feel you isolating yourself on purpose because of all these responsibilities. If you need help, reach out and ask for help. 
because I, I don't feel that this is a good way for you to start, okay? The, the good news is I feel like both of these cards are coming out at the beginning of the month, which indicates to me this might be residual energy, and I hope it is from May, April, and things like that. Because what's coming up next here, oh, I need another card. What's coming up next here is the Four of Swords in which you are finally at a stage where you can take a step back, do recreational things, getting enough sleep, resting uh, yourself, okay? Which is a good thing to do. So I feel like, I hope this is residual energy coming through from May where you are like, you know, constantly moving around and battling like negative elements in order for you to get the outcome and, and in life that you're hoping for. So as a result of it, I feel that you might just be in a position now to finally rest up. So the second cluster here, we have the Four of Swords as well as the Sun card. The Four of Swords once again indicates taking that period of break in order for us to replenish ourselves, in order for us to basically, you know, enjoy some recreational activity. The Sun card usually it, it's um usually comes up. It it basically indicates to me some type of creative endeavor. So this is basically, you know, going out, being around in the sun or being in an environment where you have some leisure time to devote to activities that bring you emotional satisfaction or emotional fulfillment, okay? Um, there might be some issues within the home environment, I'm feeling. And there might be, you know, some, some family members that are either ill that need your help and I do feel that once you take care of that situation, it seems like they can't take care of themselves. Once you take care of that situation, it's going to alleviate a huge burden for you, which will allow you this period of rest where you are surrounding yourself with either, you know, just having enough time to rest or even doing things and activities and devoting your time and energy to doing activities and surrounding yourself with people that bring you a lot more support and emotional satisfaction. So these are very, very good cards. Um, a lot of you, I feel like it's praying for some type of a success. You're waiting on some type of communication and I feel like it is... I feel that it might be a long wait. I feel like the information might come in by the end of this month. So we have like three whole weeks of waiting, waiting, waiting. And I also want to say that if you are waiting on some type of a result, I feel like it's within your power to change the results. So the power of prayer and positive manifestation they need to be exercised so that you can have the outcome that you want, okay? A lot of the times, too, things are not always written in stone. It's our power of prayer manifestation that will allow us to write the outcome that we want. So I feel like for a lot of you, do positive manifestations. Pray for the outcome, the positive outcome. It can go a long way in getting you to achieve the outcome that you want, okay? So nothing is a lost cause yet. Rely on the power of prayers. I feel that this is something you're going to need to focus on for this month, okay? Now, in terms of your financial situation, we do have the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. Both are very, very good cards when it comes to finances. The Nine of Pentacles is basically something that is um, coming through that will allow us to stabilize our financial future. Um, what I'm sensing with both of these two cards is that a lot of you, towards the end of this month, you are given a new opportunity. And I feel like the opportunity itself is very, very good. It might not seem, you know, like humongous at the beginning or when you first look at it. But I feel like some type of a stepping stone, launching pad opportunity coming into your life that will allow you to really reap financial success in the future. It might take like nine months, it might take nine years, but I feel like you're setting something in stone for your financial future in the long run, okay? So it's basically indicating to me as well, a lot of success, financial success through self-discipline. So I feel almost as if an opportunity comes through from another person and there is going to be some type of discussion, some type of exchange related to that. And I feel that you are also going to start to realize as well 
that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and it is a stepping stone moment. It is also a launching pad that will really secure you in the future. Uh, I'm also sensing that for a lot of you, you are devoting a lot of time in the work environment and they are going to pay off for you. Okay. Um, regardless of whatever position you're in, I feel that you're getting a lot of positive reception in your work environment. You're seen as somebody who's very stoic, who's very self-possessed, disciplined, and competent and confident as well. People might be coming to you to offer you jobs. You might be headhunted for a specific position. Um, if you are in, you know, if you are, for example, like, um, looking for fellowships or looking for grants or things like that to fund something. I feel like all the hard work you put in sending out applications in the past, you're getting communication in a very positive way coming back to you, okay? So these are really, really good cards, and I feel like this is going to be a very good month for a lot of earth signs. All right, so in terms of your financial situation, once again, uh, this is more work, career, long-term planning. We have the Three of Pentacles, and Virgo got the same card in the same position. The Three of Pentacles is a situation where we are becoming like, um, it's the apprentice card. We're learning something so that we can start to build something. And we're building something of value, of, um, you know, value to the world as well. It's kind of like creating that lasting legacy. A lot of you are in a position where you are collaborating with other people to expand some type of business. Uh, you're giving people counsel and expertise and guidance in as to how they can do something. So I feel like other people are coming to you for advice, uh, for consultation. I do feel as well, when it comes to your emotions, your feelings, and your financial resources. We do have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is a situation where we are like, um, we're not sharing, we're not sharing everything that we have with another person. And I do feel a lot of you are holding back because you don't want to be in a position where you are doing all the work and other people are not putting in adequate you know, work that they should be doing. So you want more reciprocity in your work environment. You don't want to take the burden of, of other people if they're not carrying their weight. So you're being smart and methodical about this and you will only chip in when other people have proven that they can be relied on upon to do their fair share of the work. So I feel like this is a very smart approach because in the past, you've done all the work. So I feel like you're taking a step back and you're realizing, okay, I don't want to, you know, put in the work if other people are not carrying their weight. So it's pointless for me at this point. I'm going to withdraw my energy inward and focus on myself, which is good. I feel like that's a, a, a healthy way to do it. I feel like with the Virgo reading, they give too much. And whereas with you, you've given a lot of your time as well. And now you're starting to pull back, which is a really, really good energy. Um, what I'm also sensing as well is for a lot of you, you have your eyes fixated. So for example, you, you might be waiting on some official documents uh, regarding a new job a new school, a new phase in your life. So th this is like a very, very important document for the next phase in your life. You have your eyes on, you know, something like um, there's a specific job, there's a, spe a specific school, there's a specific grant, loan, scholarship. And um, I feel like there's a lot of fear associated with not getting that one thing, okay? Um, I do feel success coming through for you. So ease up on this, you know, energy and allow you, you need to like um, do positive manifestation. OK, don't cycle through worst case scenario and just say like, oh, I'm not going to get it. It's highly competitive. I'm not going to get it. Don't do that. OK, you still it's within your power to change it. So you want to, um, you know, think positively, stay on the positive end of the spectrum and you will be able to attract the right things if you send out positive energy to attract that thing all right so let's look at your advice okay so we have some really good news um capricorn i feel like there's nothing to worry about really you have some very very strong cards that indicate stability total stability coming through for the next four years or so okay 
and um, I rarely get you know messages when it comes to like long-term planning with these um, monthly readings but I feel stability coming through for the next four years so first of all we have here the ace of wands as well as the four of wands and this traditionally together indicates to me some type of a um, solidifying a union with another person this is the marriage card this is the passion card a lot of you that have been dating or the same person I feel that you're taking the relationship to the next level I feel that way and um, I also feel there is some major celebration happening this month for you where you're going to get exactly what it is that you want it's almost the wish card but I feel like good news coming through good communication coming through that will allow you to solidify and lay a foundation because the fours all deal with foundation to lay some type of a foundation for yourself on top of that I do have movement happening for you we do have the Fool card. This is indicative of, you know, taking risks, taking chances, and as well, movement coming through, like either moving physically or starting a new phase in your life. So a lot of you are taking on new projects. You might have been chosen for a specific project. You're taking on the new project, and you are traveling and manifesting and you know executing some plans manifesting things in the real world and you're running with it okay so very very positive energy for newness for relocation for buying property as well this is a the month for you to do that and uh, property indicate it, it, it comes in very very strongly relocation new property purchasing a house possibly expanding your housing environment as well okay I do feel a lot of movement happening I don't see you're going to be stressed out by the end of this month so if this energy came through like for for May I feel like June is a major turnaround for you where you are going to have a lot more time to yourself where you're going to rest up where you are once again the four of swords is also a foundation card there's some type of uh, cleaning up decluttering and movement happening for you so very good energy uh, Capricorns your financial situation is very strong so I'm not going to dwell on that but I definitely feel a lot of good news coming through for you by the end of this month so let's see what's in store for you for love and relationships So we're getting basically the same cards. Oh, uh, four of one, four of swords, excuse me, and then four of wands. So those two cards popped out earlier, except now they're in the reverse position. So let's just see what we're dealing with. And we have the fool again coming through. We have the fool that came out earlier, indicative of travel and movement. Um, I'm going to pull out a card regarding the Four of Wands, and then we'll go into your love reading. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to pull another one, actually, for the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups indicates new opportunities coming through, so let's just see what's coming through. All right. So let me talk about the fool first. First of all, you're starting over. A lot of you are getting out of old living situations and you're leaving a marriage situation um, because we have the justice card as well. So you're starting over. You're starting brand new. And I do feel that there is a potential soul connection with another person already in your midst, okay? If you are dealing with a fire sign, and I'm saying fire sign because we do have here the six of wands, 
And the Six of Wands is the Wands energy, the Rods energy is fiery energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. I feel that you might encounter this fire energy in your mist. And this is a very strong soul connection. This is a brand new person, okay? So it comes about as the as a result of starting over and you're encountering new energies. Um, the Six of Cups is a very, very harmonious situation where two people really care about one another. And they not only like love one another, they care about each other. They like each other on an innate human level. They get along very well. So I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, that might be their um, energies, okay? So that's for you singles who are out and about and dating. I do feel a lot of opportunities are coming through for you as well with the Seven of Cups here. I do have the Strength card, and this is a very seductive card. It also indicates to me somebody might be trying to seduce you this month, potentially a fire sign. I do want you to go ahead with it because I, I sense almost like there's hesitation on your end. A lot of you might be moving. A lot of you might not be wanting to rush into anything, or a lot of you might not want to start anything. But I do feel there is a very strong karmic connection here, and it's worth pursuing, okay? So for others of you, I feel that for a lot of you, you are in a situation where your home environment somehow might be interfering with your love life. This could be, you know, living together with parents, living together with roommates as well. And as a result of it, you don't feel comfortable, um, you know, bringing guests home and things like that. There's some type of situation like that. It could be children interfering with your love situation, okay? There's some something within your home environment, the, the home that you're living in, that is preventing your ability, that is like interfering with your ability to really get out there and date. For others of you, there might be a situation where you have recently, very recently, divorced, moved out of your home, and you're on the dating market again. So I feel like uh, a lot of you are single who are watching this, and I'm, I'm channeling like more energies for singles who have recently gotten out of long established relationships and you're moving on to something new. And then once you start getting putting yourself out there to date, a lot of you were very, very hesitant about, you know, going on like dating online. A lot of you were, were very, very hesitant about doing that. And I feel like this is the month for you to try something new, be adventurous, be a little bit bolder, because once you get yourself you know on the dating scene you're going to be inundated with so many options so i feel like this is the month in which you know i, I feel like you're being blinded by all the options because everyone is coming at you very very quickly so a lot of you have taken a hiatus from dating you have not been dating for possibly four months four years you don't really know like you, i feel like a lot of you are not comfortable in your skin you're not comfortable about being intimate you might have been in a long-standing relationship. It ended in separation, divorce. It ended up, you know, like in loss of property even. So you're trying to get yourself back on the dating market. And once you get yourself out there, once you make up the active, you know, choice, decision to get yourself out there and no longer get yourself and no longer, you know, being stuck or putting your life on hold or making excuses. I feel like hesitation regarding electronic dating. I feel like making excuses to keep yourself isolated. So once this energy is cleared up and you find yourself, you know, online dating, you are going to have so many options to choose from. You're going to attract people like magnets, okay? And as a result of it, you can pick and choose what you want to go with. But I, I do feel electronic dating, um, you know, Capricorn, it deals with structure. So I feel like a lot of you, deep down, you're very traditional. And you want to meet somebody a traditional way. And you might not, you, you might have like, you know, looked down on online dating. If that's the case, if any of this sounds familiar, I would highly recommend that you do it because I feel like your your dating life is really going to start to take off, okay? Those of you dealing with children, I see some complication within the household environment, arrangement for children that prevents you from dating. Um, don't use that as another excuse to not date, okay? For those of you who are 
in you know long standing established relationships i definitely feel some new energies being injected into your relationship so you are with a you have a strong soulmate connection with the significant other i do see some work issues like legal issues coming through from either uh, the work front from you or your partner that have been bringing the relationship down in the past i do feel everything is getting cleared up you're getting some official documents potentially pertaining to yours or your spouses or your significant others uh, legal issue all of that is clearing up and it's keeping you both together okay if you're on the tail end of this where you are you know waiting legal uh, waiting on some legal resolution to a divorce or a um, separation that situation is clearing up which will allow you to sever ties and to start dating once again okay so very very good decisive energy um, once again I'm getting that a lot of you are making excuses about oh, I don't want to date because of you know all of these reasons but all of those reasons are not really grounded in reality. So I feel like, you know, don't put your life on hold anymore. Get out there and date, okay? Um, so once again, I'm feeling a very strong, very strong fire sign, fire energies. And let's see, possibly an Aquarius as well. We have the star card. Um, so fire and air, fire and air. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, I feel like readings through phone or Skype. That is available like the last week of June or so. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.